Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my backpack packed up, all ready to go for this week's adventure. Uh, we're going to Oil Creek uh, State Park, I believe it's called. Uh, we're doing three days, uh, two nights in shelters, so no tent in here. But uh, I'm going to show you the pack and all the contents in the pack, get them all laid out here, and show you guys what I bring winter backpacking. All right guys, here it is, the Hyperlite Mountain Gear 2400 Porter. This equals out to be a 40 liter backpack. Looks a little different than normal porters because I have accessories on it. This is the porter stuff pocket. It attaches to the uh, molly webbing on the sides here. And I also have water bottle ho holders here that fit smart water bottles pretty much perfect. I got one of those on each side. Um, on the front, I have uh, Purell I always keep on my uh, shoulder strap. Then I got this little pouch over here on my other shoulder strap. Now I don't remember the name of the company that makes this, so I'm gonna put it right here. And uh, this was actually sent to me by a loyal subscriber, Jim, thanks a bunch for it. Can't wait to try it out this weekend. So let's get this thing opened up and see what's inside. So here is all of my gear that I'm taking uh, to Oil Creek this weekend. Let's start over here with clothing. Uh, some of these are clothes worn. Some of them are just strictly going to be in my pack until I get to camp. But we have an Under Armour base layer, Under Armour tights, Under Armour uh, long sleeve uh, top. I have a pair of running shorts here because if it's warmer, I'm going to be hiking in tights and I'd like to have shorts to go over those. I have a really lightweight fleece here that I'm probably going to hike in uh, wearing. I have a t-shirt that I will wear also over my base layer. I have really lightweight fleece leggings that will probably only be for sleeping. I also have a Montbell wind shirt uh, because I can't really hike in a rain jacket or my puffy jacket without sweating and overheating. And this is really light and it takes the edge off of the wind. I really like it to throw over my fleece and it just gives it a little bit more warmth. I got two pair of socks, one obviously wearing in, the other for whenever I need them. I have a pair of pants. I'm not sure how cold it's going to be, not sure how much snow they're going to have over there. So uh, if it's if it's a full-on winter snowstorm, I'm going to want pants. I have an Under Armour hood. I have really, really cheap North Face gloves, Mountain Hardware, Ghost Whisperer puffy jacket. Uh, sleep system, I have a Climate Insulated V Ultralight SL sleeping pad. I have a Hammock Gear Econ Burrow 20 degree sleeping bag. Now, Hammock Gear's uh, ratings are... I think survival ratings. Um, I get a little chilly in this uh, down to like 25 so I'm adding a Costco down quilt in conjunction with this that should take me down uh, into the teens probably I'm hoping. Oh yeah here's my rain jacket this is mountain hardware it's a little bit heavier than my Columbia and uh, a little bit bigger too so if I need to put it over the puffy jacket it won't compress the down and it will be better. Over here, I got water filtration. I have the Sawyer Squeeze in a little baggie. I have the Sawyer Squeeze bag, one liter with uh, the scoop here. I have a Fisker saw. Now there's gonna be wood at the campsites and it's supposed to be split wood, but you never know what you have to uh, process wood-wise to get uh, wet wood going or anything. So I might take this, I might not. We'll gauge it by the trailhead. This is just a red little dry sack, really cheap, Walmart. I put all my stuff sacks and all my extra clothes I'm not sleeping in in this, and that will be my pillow. This little koozie I made for my pot, which is a Tokes 650 milliliter titanium. Inside of that, I have a little holder here to grab the handle so I don't burn myself. A tiny little stove I made of a pop can, and my bandana, which I just bring on every trip. Here's my food bag. This is the little flat bottom bear bag by Light AF. Brand new product. I did a video on this and I'm going to link that at the end. So if you want to check this out, uh, click on that video. And I'm also going to tr uh, link the trip video once I get it up uh, at the end of this video as well. So you can check out all this stuff in action. With that came the little Dyneema rock sack with uh, Zingit. There's also a little carabiner and a little PCT hang stick in here as well. Now this only has a little bit of food in it. I'm not quite done uh, packing this up. I will show you my food though after I'm done going over all this. I have a Thermarest Z seat for the shelter. Here's my little ditty bag, my possibles pouch. It has tons of stuff in it. I'll go over that uh, after I'm done talking about this as well. Here's my camera gear. I will get into that in a minute. I have trail runners. These are Brooks Cascadia 12s. 
I might wear these depending how much snow is up there. We don't really have any snow here, but I'm thinking they might have some. So if they do, I'll be wearing these clunky things. They're Merrill like ice boots. They're 200 gram insulated waterproof nice boots but a little bit heavier than what i like but dry feet might be nice all right the possible pouch here tons of stuff in here just gonna dump it all out and go through it all i have gators here if i'm gonna be hiking in tights i uh, wouldn't mind keeping some of that snow and whatever else out of my shoes toilet paper here i just kind of put it in a toilet paper roll here i have the deuce of spades trowel extra batteries for my headlamp, a trash compactor bag. I always bring one of these on every trip and I use it a lot of the time, whether it be needing to sit something, needing to put my feet on something that's wet, any wet gear that I don't want contaminating the rest of my pack, I put in here and it's good to go. This is my uh, little medicine kit here. This has a toothbrush, toothpaste, a band-aid. That's pretty much about it. A couple little pills here in case I need some pain meds and uh, a patch kit for my sleeping pad as well. Kleenexes, I've been uh, really stuffy lately. Normally I'll just use my bandana, but it's a pretty light pack so far being that I'm not carrying a tent uh, or trekking poles. I'm actually not gonna bring trekking poles on this. I'm just gonna carry the camera the whole time just to try something different. I have fuel here for my stove. I have my ultralight spork here. I actually, I always use these. These are from KFC Famous Bowls. A little Petzl Tequina headlamp. I uh, gotta have my bushcraft knife. Uh, my Mora Eldris here. If we're having a hard time getting fire started, I can always split some wood down with this, make some feather sticks, and that'll help fire prep. This is a little chamois cloth here that is pretty lightweight, nice to just dry any wet gear. Here's my camera bag. Uh, camera gear that you're not seeing right now is actually the tripod that is holding this camera. The cheapest tripod you can get at Walmart, I think it's like a 48 or 50 inch. It weighs one pound. It was like $15. Also what you're not seeing is my Canon T3i DSLR, pretty heavy camera, and the Rode VideoMic Pro. So in this bag, I have a GoPro Hero, I'll keep that in my hip belt pocket. I have the Canon 50mm uh, f1.8 lens, great for nighttime uh, photography. I have the Canon 24mm, uh, what is this, a 2.8 I think. This is my primary lens and really light to carry. Five extra batteries plus the one battery that's in the camera right now. So I have a 64 gig SD card in this camera right now and I also have two 32 gig cards extra. And I have one nine volt battery for the Rode VideoMic Pro in case the one that's in it would die. Okay, here's all my food for Friday evening, all day Saturday and Sunday morning. Okay, I have my Tang drink additive. That's the only thing I'm bringing. I have cheddar Chex Mix and Chicken Creations Buffalo with crackers for lunch or dinner that night, or dinner, I guess, that night. I have Uncrustables and fruit snacks, which I have plenty of. I have oatmeal for the mornings, fruit snacks, and Snickers for all day long, slash lunch, slash whenever I want to eat them. A bag of beef jerky. I have Uncrustables for lunch on day two, one of my favorites. I have chicken and rice, which is about the only meal I had laying around that's dehydrated. So I bought a big tin of this for Colorado and I'm still going through it. So I'm gonna just use that up. Got more Uncrustables there for dinner as well. Day three, light breakfast with a couple snacks to get me out, just the four miles we're doing on the last day. And that is all of my food. Lots and lots of carbs. Well, that's everything I'm going to be taking on this week's backpacking excursion. I'm really confident in this setup. I really think I have everything I need here. Uh, really nothing more than I need, but it's going to be good. It's going to be nice and lightweight without the tent. Yeah, looking forward to it. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys check out that video. It's going to be a cold one, so you're not going to want to miss that. Thanks again. See you on the next one.